Welcome to the Thomas Star Academy Mark Release class. In today's class, we shall be looking at um, problems on uh, trigonometric identities. Problems on trigonometric identities. And in my previous classes, I've explained some of the um, trig identities and I've shown you how to derive trig identities. So we shall be looking, we shall be using all those identities now to solve all the questions we have on the board. But before we do that, please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, let me to do so and let me share my links and like my videos. Now we are going to be looking at this from um, question one. Question one states that prove that one over sine square theta plus one over cos square theta equals cos square theta sine square theta. And I gave some identities and we are going to be looking at using all the identities we have on the board. And then the, the reason why we have this question in this form is that they want us to solve the question we have on the left hand side here and get what we have at the right hand side here. So that means by the time we have solved all the questions we have here, we are, going to be, we are going to arrive at what we have here. How do we do that? Now, in doing this, we are going to make use of our fraction. And then most of us must have done fractions in our elementary school. Like this is a form of fraction now. So we have there to be sine square theta. Here is called square theta. Now, sine square theta cos square theta divided by this, this is gone. We are left with this. So we have cos square theta here. Now, for the second part, here we have um, sine square theta cos square theta divided by here. We have cos square theta. So it's gone. We are left with this sine square theta. So that's the second step we are going to have there, which is our fraction. So you can see that we are making use of our knowledge we've acquired in our elementary school in what we have on the board. Now, what is next I'm going to do? This is cos square theta plus sine square theta. And in my previous class, when I um, did something about two identities, I said sine square theta plus. Um, sine square theta plus cos square theta equals 1. So it means I'm going to replace everything I have here with 1. That means 1 over sine square theta cos square theta. So it means everything I have here is cos square plus sine square theta and everything is equal to 1. So that means everything I have here I will change it to 1, which is what we have here. So that means this can still be written as 1 over sine square theta times 1 over cos square theta. That is, 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. Sine square theta multiplied by cos square theta, we have sine square theta, cos square theta. And I said, and that thick identity that when you have 1 over sine theta, is the same thing as um, cos theta. And then 1 over cos theta is the same thing as um, sec theta. So in this case, now let's come back to this. If 1 over sine theta is cos square theta, it means 1 over sine square theta will give me cos square theta times. And I say by 1 over cos theta is sec theta, it means I'm going to have sec square theta here. Multiply it together, you have cos square theta, sec square theta. So we've arrived at what we have here. So the question says that prove that. 1 over sine square theta plus 1 over cos square theta equal to cos square theta sine square theta. So we've already solved everything we have here and we arrived at this. So that's solved. So we've proved that now everything we have here is equal to here. Now let's go to our number two questions. Number two question states that sine theta into bracket tau theta plus tan theta equal to this. How do we do this? We are still going to apply our normal um, elementary school math which is going to be like, you are going to open the bracket. If you have 2 into x plus y, you can open that. It means you have 2x plus 2y. So, same method you are having there, you can use here. So that means sine theta times this will give me sine theta cos theta plus sine theta tan theta. And, like what I did there, I solved this question and I got this. So look at my procedure, and I got the answer here. Now, we are trying to solve everything we have here and get this. How do we do that? Let's continue. Now, cos theta. 
Tantita. Now, I said gave one thing. In my last class, if I have cos theta, it can be written as cos theta over sin theta. And my tan theta equals sin theta over cos theta. So let's go to this. My sin theta here times cos theta over sin theta. We are manipulating. Then here is sin theta times sin theta over cos theta. So we've changed cos theta to cos theta over sin theta. I have already changed tan theta to sin theta over cos theta. Now, when you with me here again, um, here yeah, something has happened here. Yeah. This can go with this, so we can have cos theta plus what we happen here. We can have sine square theta all over cos theta. Okay, we have this, but we are going to this. So you now look at the question again. What can we do here? What can, what operation can we perform here? To arrive at something like this, and then we already know. Before we get to that anyway. So what do we do here? Now this can be over one. So we can still find our LCM. This is our fraction, like what we did here. Here we'll give you cos square theta. Here is one plus sine square theta. That is cos star times cos theta will give you cos square theta. So cos star and cos star is one time, then you multiply by this, you have this. And like what I did there, sin square theta plus cos theta is equal to 1, then I'm replacing everything I have here with which 1? So I have 1 over cos theta. And then let's just come back to this place. 1 over cos theta is equal to what? Is sec theta. So I have it to be sec theta. So if you look at this now, we've solved everything at this side, and then we arrive at this answer. So the question says that, prove that Everything we have here equals there. So we have proved everything we have at this side now and we've arrived at sec theta. So it simply means that the proving of sin theta into cos theta plus sin theta equals sec square theta. Now we've done, we've done that and we've got it this. So anytime you are having any question on that trick identity, you make sure that you know all the identities. That was why I derived them first. And then you have to put them in your mind or you have to, you have to make sure that you have them at the back of your mind that when you are proving any questions, you are going to be making use of all the identities that we have. So, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please help me to do so. Help me like my video and help me share my links. Thank you.